Welcome back guys. It's a quick update today. I'm going to try and do daily videos. Um, and most days there will be like a big build or whatever, but today it's just um, it's just an update because I've added a whole bunch of mods and I wanted to talk to you about that. And I haven't been idle today. I have actually done a huge amount of work, which I'm going to show you. And it's, um, it's kind of important. So where should we start? Well, how about we start over here uh, at, the, uh, at the gatehouse. Do you notice any difference? Do you notice any difference with the, with the old gatehouse thing? Is it like, yeah, it's kind of, well, it kind of looks the same, but it kind of, I don't know about what you think, but I think it kind of looks nicer. Um, basically, I have completely rebuilt the entire thing from scratch. I went back to my starting point and completely rebuilt it. Um, because, first of all, the bridge, the proportions of the bridge just didn't, didn't look right. So I've actually widened it by two tiles. So now we have a four tile wide center span to the bridge and everything now doesn't feel crowded before these felt crowded but now they don't and the this the actual gatehouse itself now it's not cramped together so we've actually got both of the lanterns showing properly and it just feels much nicer. Now I haven't upgraded these walls on either side and by the way I've expanded um, the castle by one wall section on this side. So this is this is one section bigger. Other than that it's exactly the same. So it's um, so well let's see this is what um, four tiles wide and I added two so it's it's six tiles bigger. Oh and I think I added one tile here so it's seven tiles bigger. It's seven tiles bigger across the whole thing. And it's made a big difference to the to the interior. We've now got a nice, generous courtyard, which we can exploit. Um, I'm actually gonna gonna get this running because I might as well. Uh, and it's it's cooler when it's when people are running about. And um, you'll also see, look, people are going in there. Why are people going in there? Now, for those of you who know the game, you'll know that this is the accountant's house and this is a building that eventually, it'll be like the town hall in Banished. This will give you all your stats. Um, but at the moment, it doesn't do anything. Ha 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 ha. Well, it does now, thanks to a mod. And this was one of the reasons. This was kind of the, the reason that I decided to rebuild it because I was going to rebuild this building anyway. This over here, um, let's just, it doesn't need to be running so fast. Um... Yeah, times two is fine. Um, yeah, so um, over here, where is it? Where is it? Um, in Castle Buildings, you've got the, the Accountant's House, right? But there is a mod which adds the, accounting the, the Accountant's House to houses, and it's called the Tall House. And it, it's exactly the same model, but it just converts it to a house, and you can have nine people in here. And now we've got nine people living in the castle oh hell yeah now as soon as as soon as i decided to do that it was just somebody dying in an accident <laughs> scrim clumsy bastards um as soon as i decided to do that i thought well hang on a second if if i've got people living in the castle then there's there's kind of life there's usefulness we we need to do things slightly differently so um I put in over here a warehouse, right? And I moved the uh, the smithy from where it was originally over here into this corner, right? And when you get down here, I think this is kind of much better now. It's much more balanced, and plus, because the the terrain is slightly lower on this side than it is on this side, it actually lowers the smithy a bit. Right, and the, 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 the warehouse has got a low roof anyway, so they're kind of quite low impact. They, they, they just sit nicer within the whole thing. Now, I've expanded the, um, I've expanded the road out here. Um, now, one of, the, one of the problems with the game is you, <laughs> you can't have um, dirt road tiles 
next to paved road tiles because they remove them. So what I've done here is um, is just space them. So so these two in the centre are paved road tiles, and then that's a gap. There's nothing there, and then dirt road tiles down the outside. And I like the effect. You, you create the, the, the effect of this road, which is paved in the centre and just dirt down the sides. I really like that. Okay, so um, that was the first mod. Second mod, um, terraforming, and the person uh, that told me about this, oh, thank you so much, because, God, I wish I'd known about this before. You can see that I've actually terraformed, like, quite a bit more of this. Um, let me show you how this terraform uh, mod works, and I'm using the 100% uh, the terraforming mod. So, um, you know what, I'll just, I'll just do something here just to show you. So if I just take the terraforming tool and and say, um, let's say I wanted to raise the terrain, right? And let's say I wanted to do that, right? Which is huge, monumental. That's enormous. But how much build is it? It's one. It's whatever you do terraforming wise. It's always one build. Right. Now, you still need to clear everything and take it away and whatever, so it's not like completely free, but it just means the actual digging part is free. So, if, um, oh, here we go. You're going to come, yes, cultivating, that means digging. And you watch, it'll do, it'll do a couple of digs and it'll be boom, straight up in here. Oh, there you go, see, was I lying? No, I wasn't. So, Terraforming is still, it's still a lot of work on kind of like virgin territory. You've got to strip all the trees, you've got to strip um, all the ores and plants and everything. Okay, so, that was the second mod. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, you know what? Let's, let's go to the mods list and I'll, I'll show you. So, oh! Oh yeah, I, this was the first one I meant to show you, Bonehead. Uh, let's crank it up, get, let's get some good weather and I'll show you. Uh, that will uh, that'll. come on give me some good weather I don't want it raining so before the camera used to come out to about this kind of distance but I'm now using the um, the improved camera mod which allows you to, to scroll out twice as far now there is a mod that allows you to scroll out like six times as far but I think that's a bit too much and so now we can come out to here and now we can actually see like the island and see the dig site and get the whole scale. So I think that's awesome. So there you go, that's that. Uh, okay, what next? So, so we've got the increased camera distance, the 100% faster terraforming. Uh, we already had the smaller building footprints which allowed us to build the castle. And then I've got some decoration. So I've got the big D pack, which adds a whole bunch of stuff, uh, which I, I'll show you a couple of things. And then there's town decorations and low and medium stone walls. And there's the tall house which is the accountant's house as a home. And I've also added armed and dangerous. This basically allows your villagers, anybody who's working a pasture or a field or whatever, to, uh, to kill animals, to kill wild animals. So no more, well, hardly any chicken or sheep attacks. So that's a really, that's a really awesome mod. I love that. And, and I've gone for cheaper stone roads. Now this is just a pure cheat um the same as the terraforming but i think these two are, are worth are worth doing because the terraforming was just going to take too long and or well not too long but it's just going to take a very very long time and it kind of doesn't add anything and then the, the the stone roads stone is just so crazy difficult to come by that um i thought yeah yeah, I'm going to do that, especially because I'm changing a lot of things and I keep like replacing roads and putting them in different places and stuff like that. So I thought that was justified. Um, there is one more list, one, one, one more mod on the list, but it's not active and I don't think it's going to be. And it's the free range livestock. Now, what that mod does is it takes away the fences from fields and pastures, right? So, for example, our cow field, it wouldn't have a fence. And not only doesn't it have a fence, but the cows will actually wander around. They will, and, and it's a different texture. It's a, it's a grass texture rather than this just brown dirt. Um, 
And I might go for that if, if somebody creates a mod so that I can actually put some of these fences in where I want them. There, there are a whole bunch of um, fences. Let's go over here and we'll see some of the, some of the decor decorations. But I want this fence. This is kind of perfect for going around fields. And the thing is, it removes all fences from all fields. Right? Now, there's another mod, which is um, Fenceless Buildings, which removes fences from every building. Right? So, now, I'd love to take, get, take the fences away from the windmill, for example. But, um, but it's just, I, I don't want to remove it from every building. So, yeah, yeah it's kind of difficult. So, I'm not going to do, do the livestock mod at the moment. Fences. So, um, we've got things like this. Iron fence, iron railings. Uh, let's try and get somewhere we can see this a bit better. Let's go over. Here we go. So, we've got iron railings, which is very cool. They're definitely going to be using those in the town. Not in the village, but in the town, definitely. And then, uh, that was our original gate. Uh, that's, that's all original. Okay, small stone fence. That's um, a bit smaller than the, than the standard one. And then we've got a little bit of iron railings. And then these are the uh, the low stone walls. And these we're definitely going to be using. Going to be using these a lot. And then this is the medium one. And then there's also a medium pillar. Which is awesome. Now, let's have a look at some of the decorations. Because some of the decorations are just <laughs> simply staggering. It takes this to the next level. It really does. So if we look at something like... Um, okay, furniture, for example... So, like in here, if we wanted to do something, we totally could. So imagine, I don't know, if you're going into the, going into the town, you'd have to have your papers checked, wouldn't you? Of course you would, in medieval times. Everybody's got a passport. Um, so, I don't know, put a, put a table over here. But that's a bit boring, just, just a plain table. We want some stuff on it. So, um, I don't know, that's a slightly bigger one, and that's a slightly different one. And, oh, look, this one's got some papers and stuff on it. It's actually got chisels and stuff on it but something like that now we could stick a chair for the for the guy who checks the papers behind there and um, we can decorate the place I mean this is going to be useful in the town um, you know things like things like plant pots and stuff love that now one of the things I have thought about doing with the bridge and, what, and, an and another reason why I wanted it wider I mean the primary reason was the scale but there are these things flags Flip it around. Oh man. How about a load of, load of those? With banners all the way across. On both sides. We'll mix them. You know, have these and uh, lampposts. Look at these lampposts. So you've got... Um, this is kind of the regular lamppost. But it's got that fancy iron work on the top. So here's, here's the original one. Right? And then this has got the... Oh, this one. It's got the, the nice fancy iron work on the top, which is just awesome sauce. And then this is the the banner with a with a lamp on the top actually on the top. I don't know what you got. It's got that thing in the way. Can you see the if I move it just far enough away. So you've got a flag with a lamp on the top and you've also got a lamp with two flags. How cool is that? Now I could put these like down the middle. That would look pretty cool. Or I could just put them along the along the sides on both sides. Don't know. I haven't decided how I'm going to decorate it, but we're going to do something cool. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Right. What else? What else? There's just there's loads of stuff in here. Um, oh, ta. This is cool. This is a very cool mod. Now you do have to build all of this stuff. It's not free, by the way. Uh, and some of it's quite expensive. But, for example, how about we want another ship in the harbour, but not up against the dock? How about, like, we want a ship over here? Well, you can do it. And it's... The thing is, your builders have to get to whatever you're building. And, of course, they can't get out here. So what the guy's done is he's offset the, the ship from the build point, from the footprint. So, like, the footprint is in the middle. And this is about, I don't know, like 30 tiles away or something. Which means that you, we, you can have the, you can see with the red bit, you can have the build point over there, and have the have the ship out at sea. So we're definitely going to be playing around with that. Have some have some do boats docked around the place. 
Uh, and there's also a rowboat, which is really cool. Love the rowboat. See, rowboat, definitely can have a rowboat in the moat. And it's it's like just so awesome that you can... Oh, now, there it is. Just rotate it to where we want it. I just like, plop it in. I don't know, maybe have one over there or something. Be kind of nice because that would be lit up at night. Maybe just put it up on the shore by the bridge, something like that. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to have a field day with these. Absolute field day. Alrighty, um, so that's the mods. Now, just a quick update on the village. Um, actually, okay, quick update on the village, and then I'm going to tell you a little bit about the next bit of the build, which is going to be the inner gatehouse, because I've been thinking about that. And it, it's amazing, when you when you kind of get this like in your head, and you've, you've figured it out, and you, you've got it exactly how you want it, suddenly you get ideas for what you want the other side to look like. Oh, it's going to be freaking sweet. Um, okay, so uh, the village, very quickly. I put in two houses over here. Okay. And I knocked this house down. Why? Well, this house was originally the same model as these two over here, right? With the, the, the third floor, the third story on top, and the overhangs. And it completely spoiled the view. It was, it was too imposing, it was too wide, and it, it really cramped the, the gateway. So what I did was I, um, I knocked it down, and when I put it back, I put this model, which is the same as this one down here, which, yeah, go away, which you can see doesn't have the overhang on this side, and is only a two-story building rather than a three-story building, and it makes a huge difference to the view. And then I've reworked the gate so that the gateway is now properly centered on the road. I've made it a little bit more impressive by putting um, two posts on either side. And now we get that lovely view. I love that. That's just absolutely awesome. And then you go through the gate and there it all is. See, they're hungry again. I don't know why they're suddenly getting hungry. Um, actually, that's a good point. There didn't seem to be a huge amount of food in the barn. Um, why isn't there a huge amount of food in the barn? Okay, I don't understand where my food's gone from that barn. Okay, well, I need to get my uh, I need to get my farmers assigned. That's a good that's a good point. Okay, never mind. I'll I'll do that after. I'll do that after. Right. So let's talk. Let's talk about the other side of the of the of the thing. Oh no, there's a couple of um, mines. We we ran out of stone down here. Ran out of stone in there. So I put in two more stone quarries. One over here. Which um, that's only got two thousand left. That that was over six thousand when I put that in. And then one on the opposite side of the village. Tucked me down behind the fence here. And that one's still got 4,000. So that's pretty good. And um, we lost that all mine up there. That was exhausted. So I've, I've taken that out. And we've got a new we've got a new ore mine there. No, that's a stone quarry. No, that's a stone quarry. Where did I put the other ore mine? Um, we got that one we knew about. Oh, there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Do you remember... Uh, the last episode of the of the other series, I asked you what you wanted in here, a bathhouse or a, or a garden. Um, you'll have to wait a little bit for that because when I came to put ore in, there's very, very little ore around. Uh, let, me, let me just show you very quickly. Um, there aren't any like really good patches of ore like in good spots, but, but there aren't really any. I mean, there's a, there's a nice patch out to see. Shame I can't build there. Um, so yeah, I decided I better use this patch while I've uh, while I've got the chance, because it was about, I don't know, 5,000, four and a half, 5,000 ore. Um, so yeah, ore's gonna become an issue because, yeah, like, we're gonna have to start going out to places like this. It's a nice 7,000 patch over there. But ore's not, um, ore's not, too desperate. It's stone. Stone's going to be the issue. So I am looking at some of the mods, uh, which uh, increase the output from the from the stone quarries. They, it increases the amount of resources there. There's another one that regrows 
the stone like slowly over time. So if you deplete a mine, you can go and mine another mine, leave that one alone, and it will grow back slowly. Uh, so that's that. Um, anything else I need to tell you about the town? Oh, the sheep. Yeah, the sheep. I do have to tell you about the sheep. So, sheep. We got sheep from the last expedition. And they are... I'm, going to, I'm actually going to let this run very slowly. So you can see the sheepies. They are very cool, aren't they? And some people are calling them goats. They're not goats. They're sheep. Definitely sheep, not goats. And they give us wool. And um, we are turning... The, look, we've already got like an excess of like 1,300 wool. And I've only got uh, eight sheep in here. And nine... No, no, eight sheep in there and nine sheep in here. Uh, and those... Just those two are producing a huge excess of wool. So... We are, we are currently making warm clothing, although we don't have any at the moment. It's all been used up. Because we've just been in the winter. People wanted their warm clothing for the winter. Um, and I think that is it now. I think that is it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, a couple of things over here, because I, I want to I do these so I can do other things. Okay, I want to knock down... Uh, where are we? Yeah, do, 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 do. I want to knock down this building here. And I want to knock down this building here. These are the two foresters. Okay, and then I'm going to put in two new foresters. Um, but they, now they are going to work as forest, foresters, kind of, sort of. But primarily, these are going to be watchtowers. And this is the idea of um, Leonidas. You remember the mad old bastard that lives over here? Who goes up in his watchtower looking for the Persians? Even though we're in kind of like... <laughs> Middle England. <laughs> um, yeah, so he, he's persuaded that everybody that we need watchtowers because we, we, we've got to be scared of the Persians. So what I'm going to do is just um, is put a couple of these in here and one on the other side in here. Perfect. Now what that's going to do um, is just is just create a few trees close to the village and one or two trees in the village around around those two sides but I'll probably have two guys in there um, cutting quite aggressively so we'll keep it fairly sparse because I want to keep the view you know kind of like it is now right not like just how it is now with the level of trees we've got now is kind of perfect so uh, so that's that but one of the reasons i want to clear this away is because i want to put in a really big cow pasture over here so i'm gonna to have to get rid of this gatherer as well so i'm thinking it's probably going to be about there okay the biggest act now is 42 by 42 so yeah i'm thinking it's going to be there maybe one tile further down and i think that that's going to look like quite effective now the first thing is it's going to keep the trees out of this area in front of the castle right and what I'm, I think I'm going to have cows on one side and I'm going to do the same thing but on the other side I'm going to have a field um, I haven't decided whether I'm going to have one field or a patchwork of fields but I'll do I'll do this tarting up this area um, before the, the next episode and that'll allow me to kind of get on with it uh, I wanted to get those food sources in so that while I'm working on the build over here, I've got I've got food, like a constant food source coming in. So, okay, what am I going to put over here? Okay, right, let me, let me tell you the kinds of things I'm thinking of. Right, first of all, the, um, the next upgrade of this tower is kind of awesome. It puts um, like, a, like a, a wooden facing on this and it's like a, 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 a slightly larger wooden top. But it's kind of much more impressive. But there's a definite heavy wood usage, and it's got it's got a really imposing look. And the the gatehouse has the same thing. It matches up really nicely, and the same with the walls. So over here, we're going to have those forming the gatehouse. And I'm thinking of maybe even having a double gate going going into the city. And then what I'm thinking of doing is flanking the uh, the main barbican the main gatehouse with a couple of keeps uh, let me show you uh did it do, 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 where are we castle keep um so what i'm thinking of doing is flipping this around because 
that that's the way it is. Like it doesn't matter which way you rotate it, it's that way. But I think for this, if we were to create like a little bit of terraforming, right, and then rotate this so that it's exactly like 90 degrees that way, right? Now if you look at this, I think we might be able to do something very cool with this. If I can, there is a mod that allows you to put buildings on more extreme terrain. And I'm just thinking, like, if I could put this on some kind of slope um, and maybe use this, this rock, this rock face as well. And then have, like, so two of these, one on either side, and then the huge gatehouse in the center. So that is where I'm kind of going with, with this. And then the walls will, will go off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and work on the, um, the, the terraforming a bit uh, and get all of that done. And then I'll figure out exactly what I want to build. I'll do some testing and then I'll be back tomorrow with the build of the inner Barbican, the inner gatehouse. All right, guys, that's it. My God, I've been talking for far too long. It was, this was only supposed to be a quick update. All right, um, I, <laughs> I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, thank you for all the comments on the first one. You, you obviously did really enjoy that first one. It was a massive amount of work, but it was totally worth it. I will catch you for the next one, guys. Enjoy your evening. Peace out.